Coming up on tonight's news, get an update on the Rowan Rutgers Camden merger, find out about the upcoming events at Rowan After Hours, and learn about the WIT elections. Up next. Take out meals for just $12.99. Call them. Sherry Pearson. You are the sole surviving heir of the King of Montanopolis, and you are now worth $45 million. I'm rich! This can't be real! Of course it's not real. Come on. Having money isn't about luck. Like that takeout meal. Cook at home instead, you can save thousands a year. Feed me. Feed the pig! Good evening, I'm Jacqueline Zielinski and welcome to Rowan Action News. Rutgers Camden students and faculty continue to rally against Governor Chris Christie's plan to merge their college with Rowan. A public hearing took place at Rowan on Monday that allowed people to voice their opinions and concerns about the merger. If Christie's plan goes through, Rowan would take over Rutgers Camden's campus, including the law school. The governor says he will have a final decision before July 1st. A day of relief on Friday for Tyler Clementi's family as Duran Ravi faces conviction. In September of 2010, Ravi planted a webcam in his dorm to spy on Clementi, his roommate at the time. Clementi was publicly humiliated through the internet for kissing another male. When Clementi found out about what his roommate had done, he committed suicide by jumping off the George Washington Bridge. Ravi was found guilty of all 15 accounts, including a hate crime. A federal judge says Philadelphia owes Boy Scouts of America nearly $900,000 to cover their legal fees that have added up in a 10-year legal battle with the city. Philadelphia has tried to evict the Scouts from their city-owned headquarters for practicing discrimination against gays, but a jury says the Scouts have a right to free association. Safeway, the owner of the supermarket Gennardi's, is becoming the ground beef killer filler known as Pink Slime. The company says they will no longer purchase the meat with the filler due to the recent news stories that have caused some consumers to become concerned. Other local grocery stores such as Acme and Wegmans have publicly commented that they sell some products with the pink slime and will continue to do so. A corrections officer is charged with bringing drugs into Bayside State Prison on Friday, ending a seven-month investigation. Nazare Bay of Pittsgrove is being charged with bringing dangerous substances into the prison for distribution among the inmates. Bay was placed on unpaid leave after his arrest and is being held on bail in Cumberland County Jail. Three teenagers and two adults are left injured after multiple shootings on Tuesday. It happened in South Philadelphia on 4th and Washington Street. A 14-year-old boy was shot in the ankle and a 15-year-old girl was shot in the leg. Police believe the shooting to be, a, to be related to another shooting that happened earlier the same day when a 14-year-old boy and two others in their 50s were shot in a drive-by. No word yet on who started the shooting. The driver of the SUV that slammed into a school bus at the intersection of Hessian Avenue and Grove Road has been cited for running a red light. The SUV hit the rear axle of the bus carrying nine third and fourth graders from Greenfields Elementary School in West Effort Township at 4.15 p.m. on Tuesday. No serious injuries have been reported. Coming up, learn how to visit the Eastern State Penitentiary with Rowan and hear from the editor of the chief, editor-in-chief at The Wit. Up next. So, are you going out tonight? I can't. My parents say I have to be home right after work. <sighs> That's so gay. Totally, guy. Ugh, that is so Emma and Julia. Why are you saying that's so Emma and Julia? Well, you know, when something is dumb or stupid, you say that's so Emma and Julia. Who says that? Everyone. Imagine if who you are were used as an insult. When you say that's so gay, do you realize what you say? Knock it off. The Cooper Medical School received a million dollar endowment from Lawrence and Rita Salva. The money will go towards three scholarships and $100,000 in scholarships will be given to Cooper Medical School's first graduating class. Did Justin Bieber really get beat up? Our entertainment reporter Andrea Herdman has the story. Andrea? For $10, you can visit one of the most infamous prisons. 
Tickets are on sale in the Student Center for the Eastern State Penitentiary on March 24th from 10 to 2. Come out and learn some, some history behind those spooky doors. Prof Sock tickets are still on sale. This year performers include DJ Calcutta, Cobra Starship, and the All-American Rejects. Prof Sock takes place on April 14th in SB Gym at 7 p.m. Tickets are $10 with your Rowan ID. Are you going to Prof Sock? If so, come out to Battle of the Bands in the Student Center Pit tonight. You will have the chance to vote for the band to open up for Prof Sock. The event is free and starts at 9 p.m. Back to you, Jacqueline. Thank you, Andrea. And now to Ashley for an in-depth interview with the Editor-in-Chief of The Wit. Hi, I'm Ashley Tradio, and I'm here with Rowan's Editor-in-Chief of The Wit, Christina Pritchett. Christina, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. So The Wit is holding elections for next year's editors, right? Yes, the elections are April 18th at 9 p.m. in the Student Center, and our room is 220, which is on the top floor. And what positions are up for grabs? All positions are open. Um, that includes news editor, features editor, arts and entertainment, sports, two copy editors, photo, and graphics editor. In order to run for editor-in-chief, though, you had to have been on the WIT editorial board at some point. And what are the requirements of becoming an editor? Um, you would have to edit stories. Um, you need to have a 2.5 GPA. If you know AP style, that would be preferable over not knowing it at all. Um, you have to have a pretty flexible schedule. Monday mornings are preferably open at 11 a.m. And Wednesday nights you need to be free pretty much from 5 o'clock on. And what are the responsibilities of your features editor, which I understand is like a hard position at the WIT? It is. It takes a lot of time, but it's also rewarding. You not only are dealing with the center spread, which is the two center color pages um, every week where you have to design it and you know, think of the topics every week, but you're also editing stories, assigning stories, you're also assigning artwork and graphics, and then, you know, just trying to figure out who can write for your stories every week. For people who want to run, what do they have, to, when do they have to let you know by? Um, we're going to announce it in the paper and a row and announcer by the 11th, so preferably before the 18th, but I'll accept all emails until about noon on April 18th. What can students do to prepare before they're, um, they go in to become editor? Well, everyone that is running needs to make a two-minute speech. If you're running for photo editor or graphics editor, you can bring in uh, photos that you've taken or things that you've designed using the programs. In your speech, you can say why you should be elected. Um, you can talk about what you've done for past experiences. You can talk about if you've used programs such as InDesign, Illustrator, things like that. And do the editors get paid? They do get paid. It's based off how much ad revenue we accumulate throughout the semester. Besides getting paid, what else ben like what benefits would you gain from being an editor? Besides getting paid, um, you can gain you're learning how to time management um, because you know we're all students and most of us have outside jobs. So you're learning about time management, you're learning the skills of what it takes to be a leader, you're learning how to be a better writer, a better photographer, a better journalist, basically. So for people who want to get involved maybe as a writer and don't have enough time to become an editor, what do you suggest for them? Um, like I said, we're all students, so we understand that not everyone has enough time, but you can write once a week. You don't even have to write every week. You can shoot photos maybe once every two weeks. It's not a thing that you have to commit to every single week. We just like having those people come every single week. Okay, and um, how do, can people contact you? Uh, my email is editor at thewitonline.com and they can let me know if they want to run for any position. They can just say their name, their year, their major, and just send me anything they want. Um, all of the editor's emails are inside the newspaper as well, so if people want to talk to specific editors, they're more than welcome to. And your meetings are at what time? Our meetings are Mondays at 11.30 in the Student Center top floor, room 220. Okay, well thank you so much for being with us. For anybody watching who might want to be an editor, you can look out for more information in the Rowan announcers or go to thewitonline.com or email Christina at editor at thewitonline.com. Thanks and back to you at the desk. Thank you, Ashley. And now here's Nicole James with information about the upcoming events at Rowan After Hours. 
It looks like Rowan After Hours has some fun stuff planned this week. Uh, they sure do. Uh, tonight is Battle of the Bands Night. Uh, Rowan student groups will compete for a chance to uh, open at Prof Stop 2012. Um, this is sponsored by Student University Programs, Programmers, or SUP for short. And um, the actual Prof Stock 2012 event will be taking place um, April 14th in the SB Gym. That sounds exciting. What else is happening tonight? Well, for those craving a mini fiesta, uh, there will be a midnight taco bar tonight. Um, that sounds kind of yummy. Uh, there will also be board games available, um, free, bill free billiards for uh, those that like to shoot pool, and um, other fun stuff to be found in the game room. How about on Friday night? Are you a karaoke fan? Well, on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, tomorrow night is live music karaoke uh, with singer and songwriter Gary Johnson. Um, there will also be a Guitar Hero tournament. Uh, for those that are fans of the game, they'll sure to uh, enjoy that. And um, plus, the night is sure to be sweet uh, because there will be a midnight Sunday bar. That sounds good. Um, tell us what's happening about Saturday. Well, there's going to be a uh, ventriloquist um, act. Uh, which may be terrifying for uh, some if you're not a fan of dummies, <laughs> like I am. Um, the performance is titled Ryan and Friends. Um, it starts at 10 p.m. and it promises to be hilarious. <laughs> Any tasty food that night or? Uh, yes, there will be a midnight chicken tenders bar. Well, that sounds great. Thank you, Nicole. You're welcome. Come help South Jersey's Barbara Cook Cancer Foundation on September 15th. They will be hosting the Bill Botino Mud Run for Cancer in Millville, New Jersey. Last year, they raised over $100,000. The first committee meeting will be Sunday, March 25th, 7 to 9 in the Student Center, room 129. For more information, visit www.NewJerseyMudRun.com. The second annual Battle of the Chefs needs your vote. The competition takes place Thursday, March 29th in the Marketplace from 5 to 7 p.m. Two winners will be announced, a student's choice winner and a judge's choice winner. This tasty event only asks for a swipe of your meal plan. The student handbook cover design is taking place. What's the incentive? A $100 Barnes & Noble gift card. Entries must be submitted to communitystandards.rowan.edu by Monday, April 16th. Late entries will not be considered. Open Mic Night is held in the Student Center pit to raise money for Somalian victims. Singers, rappers, poets, and more performed, including Rowan students. The event was held by the Sociology Club, Council of Africana Studies, the Black Cultural League, and Bamba Dolce. All the proceeds went straight to the foundation helping victims of the Somalian drought. The softball and baseball team are dominating in Rowan sports. Let's hear Colleen Murphy with more with On the Story. Thanks, Jackie. Rowan girls softball team is hitting hard with an undefeated record of 15 and 0 and a ranking of 14th in the nation. These girls gave Centenary College a run for their money during the doubleheader they played against them on Tuesday. The girls won both games 9 to 1. Third baseman Julie Laskanik went two for three with two runs scored in the first game, while catcher Nicolina Veneziano went three for three with two RBIs and two runs scored in game two. It was a close call on Tuesday for the Rowan baseball team. With a tied game in the bottom of the ninth, pitch hitter CJ Shimzak hit an RBI single to take the four to three victory against your college. The team is ranked 12th out of all D3 schools in the nation and will continue to climb with more wins. Thanks, Colleen. Rita's Water Ice springs into the new season with a fan favorite tradition. Every year on the first day of spring, customers are able to get a free regular water ice of their choice from their local Rita's. Millions of fans have received the free treat since the first free ice giveaway 20 years ago. And now we'll hear from Michelle Jaworski on the stormy weather coming this weekend. I'm Michelle Jaworski and let's take a look at your weather. Now today in Glassboro, it's been a beautiful day. It's currently 71 degrees. Haven't quite reached the high yet of 77, but we might get there just yet. And it's gonna be 56 tonight as a low. Now let's take a look at your five day weather forecast. Now the sunshine and the beautiful weather is gonna last just a little bit longer with a high of 76 and a low of 53 on Friday. Now Saturday will bring the thunder showers with a high of 65 and a low of 53. Sunday, a little more rain coming our way with a high of 56 and a low of 45. 
On Monday, it's going to start to clear off just a little bit with a high of 66 and a low of 40 degrees. And Tuesday, the sun's going to come back out. It's going to be mostly sunny with a high of 60 and a low of 39. Now let's take a look at your weather window. Now here we have a picture of Bunce Hall on the right here. You can see the flat, uh, plant, tree's not exactly grown back yet, but right here in front of Beaux-Arts, the trees are starting to bloom. Now what are you uh, doing this weekend? Uh, just work this weekend, so hopefully when the storm comes by, I, uh, I'll just be in work, so it won't be a big deal to me. What about you? Any, any big plans? Um, I'm thinking of checking out the Hunger Games movie. I mean, it's, oh. it's very big. There's a lot of hype around it, so. You're right. Yeah. I wish I had the money for that. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for today's news. I'm Jacqueline Zielinski. Have a great evening.